Sorry, gang, I did it again. I hit the wrong button. Uh, so this is going to be kind of a separate lesson. Uh, and uh, you know what I may, since this is the last lesson this week, I may just post this one later on in the week. Uh, you probably won't see this one until about uh, Tuesday uh, or maybe, uh, yeah, you'll probably see this Tuesday. Okay. So I know, uh, or I may just go ahead and do it today. But anyway, the last concept is polygons. Polygons are simply different shapes. Okay, you have you have learned about polygons before. Uh, polygons are named for their the number of their sides. Okay, named for the number of their sides, okay? In other words, count up the number and identify them, okay? Uh, let me just go over and I will draw as best I can. Uh, I may have to turn the camera back on just for a moment so that you see these a little bit. As a matter of fact, let me turn the camera back on and I know it'll be a little, I'll try to get the page down low enough so that the glare won't be in the way. So let me pause this just for a moment. Okay, just uh, to clarify a little bit also about polygons. A polygon is a closed flat shape with straight sides. So just like the rectangles, just like the parallelograms, it is a closed flat shape, not a box. In other words, these are polygons, okay? Those are polygons. These are not polygons, okay? Uh, so just so you can get an idea, again, it's a closed flat shape with straight sides. Now, I don't know how well you can see this. Let me just go over some of these real quick. Again, polygons are named by the number of their sides. Uh, for instance, you know that a three-sided figure like that, that is a triangle. Again, quadrilateral has four sides. Quad means four, tri means three, okay? Uh, this is a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. Penta means five, okay? Hexagon has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that is a hexagon. And then an octagon has eight sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, octa or octo meaning eight. Now, I know you don't have books at home. Feel free to look this up on the internet. Go ahead and do some research on it. Do some research on polygons. Do some research on uh, rectangles. Do some research on parallelograms. Learn as much as you can. Uh, and so when you get into fourth grade next year, Surprise Miss Stobart, make her very happy. Now I'm gonna go over your assignment for this week. So give me just a moment to switch it out on the camera and I will show you what, what you need to do uh, in identifying polygons this week, okay? Okay, on this particular page, uh, you again, you may have to uh, use your uh, internet in order to find since you don't have your math book at home. But I simply ask you to identify some polygons here. Uh, for instance, this particular polygon, if you'll remember from an earlier lesson, this is a parallelogram. It has four sides. It has two parallel sides, two pairs of parallel sides. No right angles, okay? Let me just go over a couple of things here. This one right here, you should be able to identify real easily. This is a rectangle. So you're simply gonna write rectangle. Number sides, one, two, three, four. Pairs of parallel sides. It's actually got two pairs of parallel sides. One, two. So it's got two. Number of right angles, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now this shape over here, I don't know that if you've ever identified it. It is a triangle uh, because of the number of sides, but this is called a right 
triangle. And the reason for that will become obvious when you look at it is because it's got a right angle in it. Okay. Now, the number of sides, again, it's a triangle, one, two, three. Pairs of parallel sides, well, it has no parallel sides. Okay. None of these run in the same direction, so it'd be zero. Number of right angles, it's got one. Okay. Now, I'm going to go over something with you that you're also going to have. You may want to do this one first, uh, and it is an identifying quadrilaterals. I talked about quadrilaterals a moment ago, so let me switch out the drawing. Okay, now, you'll notice this lesson is actually before the one on uh, polygons, and the reason I did that is, was to give you some identification of some of the different polygons. You're probably still going to have to go and look something, some of these up. But I did that on purpose because I want you to get used to doing some research. Get used to looking some of this up for yourself. Take a little bit of time. It won't take you very long. Type in the term. It'll probably bring you up more examples than you ever wanted. But it's okay. It's all right. Do that. Be able to identify them. Okay? Be able to know what these are. Now, a quadrilateral... Uh, as you're going to be able to tell, and I'm, I'm just going to read off what it's got here. Uh, you'll be able to see this with your assignment. Quadrilateral, that's any polygon with four sides and four angles, not necessarily right angles. And they identify them. You have a square. All the sides are the same length, therefore right angles. You have a rectangle. Opposite sides are parallel and the same length. Okay, there are four right angles in a rectangle. Okay, parallelogram, two pairs of opposite parallel sides, okay, but no right angles. A rhombus has two pairs of parallel sides, and all the sides are the same length. A lot of times with a rhombus, we also call that a diamond shape because it can take a diamond shape, much like this one right here. That is a rhombus, okay? And then the last one is a trapezoid. There's only one pair of parallel sides in a trapezoid, okay? So all I want you to do on this one is use these drawings and the definitions to help you identify. Again, if you get confused, uh, go to the internet. It's fine. I don't mind one bit. I encourage you to use the internet, do some research if you can. Uh, I don't mind if your parents help you a little bit with this. That's fine. Yes, I would like for you to do the majority of it by yourself. But go to the internet. Type in the term. Okay? You don't even have to remember how to spell it. It's already spelled for you. Type it in. Look it up. It will help you. It will bring up pictures. Uh, you can actually type in these terms. Uh, square, rectangle, parallelogram, rhombus, trapezoid, triangles. It will tell you. Okay, uh, if you're not sure what something is, again, I encourage you, you don't have a math book at home. So use your internet, use the resources that you have to help you with your work. Hey, class, I hope you have a good week. One more packet after the one that you're gonna complete this week. One more for grades, so you're almost done. Uh, next week's, uh, when you come on Thursday, uh, it, you're gonna, find that it's <laughs> kind of thin. Uh, I'm not going to work you too hard. We only got a little bit left. The last thing that you get, uh, you will not need to send back. We've got a Zoom meeting this week, Zoom meeting next week. We're done with the Zoom meetings. The only thing that I need you to send back to me is your little dry erase board that I sent home. Now I'm going to send home also uh, your, some of you have library books maybe still around the house, you probably may have found them. Some of them I did turn in, but Miss Morgan uh, gave me a list of who has what, and I will send that home in se separate packets. There's only a couple of you, I think, that have uh, library books. Again, I may have found those, and she just didn't get them logged in. But anyway, I'll send it, look for it, send that back the last week of school. Uh, other than that, I don't need your science book back. I don't need your spelling book back. Uh, you can just keep those. Those are yours. 
the only thing I need from the science books, whenever I ask for things to be turned in, it's only going to be to sum it up, the brain check, and sometimes the apply concepts. Those are the only pages that need to come out, not the rest of them. Okay? Just the sum it up, the brain check, and the apply concepts. And that's it. Okay. Gang, y'all have a good rest of the week. I will post these. You will have these on Facebook, and I'll post them on YouTube. Do your best. I miss you. And hopefully I'll see you on Thursday when you come to turn in and pick up packets. Have a good one, gang. Bye-bye.